white engineers. Oh, fuck. <laughs> If anything, that's a positive. I want a white guy. I, want a, I, want, I want a white guy he's the working the, the only time I want a white guy in my life is working the audio sound for editing. Purposes. There you go. That's it. Never on a lineup, just <laughs> behind the scenes where they belong. That's when they do the good job. I'm sorry. Did we, oh is that racist? Oh what's up, guys? Uh, what's up? Welcome back. We're in back in the studio, Comedy Club Confessions. Uh, my guest today, uh, really happy to bring this guy on. Honestly, it's really hard to get a hold of this guy, especially right now. Even back then, he was always hustling, grinding, touring, working. Right now, he's still on that grind, but at a whole nother level. Martin Amini is in the building. What up, dog? Martin Amini. The, and on? one thing I love about him is that <laughs> he's just like me. He's half breed. Yeah, He's yeah, half, yeah. Uh, half Arab Persian yeah. and fat, half Bolivian. That's right. And I'm half a Mexican, half Armenian. So like we we grew up in the same. Yeah. Hair, are you hairy chested? Yes. Backs hairy too. No. No, me just, too. Just as front. Yeah, just the yeah, front. Bro. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. <laughs> so, uh, dude, tell me. I want a, a quick story. Real quick. I know you're originally from DC. Yeah. DC, and uh, tell group, me, tell uh, me. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, group. Uh, it's called Silver Spring, Maryland. It's right outside of DC. Was a DC comedian for nine years, then moved to Los Angeles for the third time uh this past year yeah you know post covid and you know now we're kicking ass on tour kicking ass on tour yeah. man that's crazy i know when you first started out you were uh started how'd you start where would you work at i i i i started back in back in the east coast but you you know you know i actually met you before we were both comedians yeah yeah, yeah. um i was hanging out with my cousin uh max max amini Oh and, yeah, yeah. Max uh, and then, uh, I forgot about that. Yeah, and then, <laughs> and oh, yeah. then, and then uh, you know I was working with him. Max just, Amini, by the way, is a very very well known comedian. Guys, Max uh, Amini, per, Persian, very funny. You know, <laughs> caught, the, caught, caught the bug from him. So yeah. what he was doing on tour. I was his camera guy, and then I was like, "Yo, man, you know, I think I'm funny too." And uh, yeah. That's when I started open mics in DC. Just ended up going back home and trying out open mics. That's the best thing about stand up comedy because. Everyone thinks they could do it. Everyone thinks everyone <laughs> thinks they can do it. But everyone thinks they can honestly, do it. Honestly, you could learn to be funny. You could learn it. But you think so? Do you think so? I've seen people that are terrible now aren't funny, and I got like, yeah. the open mic go every single day, and then like eventually they're all gonna it get takes a is five ru minutes ruining your life <laughs> to be funny for five minutes. Yeah, that's all it takes. Just ruin your yeah, life that's, for five minutes that's, of comedy. That's so true, actually. You know why? Because uh, I remember I was they telling my I was different. telling my girl right now, which I'm with. I'm very happy. Had a kid together recently. We're very happy happy and i'm like how come you couldn't have been in my life like 10 years ago mm. and then she goes well you wouldn't have it wouldn't it would you wouldn't be yeah, happy like course. i wouldn't be doing stand-up like right now i hated my baby mama for so long bro sure. i've hated her but now i'm thankful for her because yeah. she messed me up so bad bro that i needed this therapy this stand-up and that's yeah. what gave me my fuel to talk about yeah. imagine if there's no freaking so that was a catalyst the baby mama the baby mama dude she took everything from me bro I, dog, I was driving here i was thinking of you and i was like dog, you were a good you were like a we were you were a good kid like yeah. very like i remember pre-comedy like you had this innocence about you. So innocent. Very like, yeah, very in it. And like being innocent, like when you're in a comp, like around a comedy club and comics, like it's very hard. And yeah, man. But you had that, like out of everybody, you were always like this good kid. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like I had that about me yeah, too. Yeah, in you a way. were super innocent. Yeah, I was pretty innocent, you know. Uh, I never seen you do anything bad. I was chill. I was always a chill. And I'm, to this day, I'm pretty chill. But uh, that was my- How old are you now? I'm 35. 35. Yeah, so that was my memory- of you driving here, I was like, damn, like Jack used to be like this wholesome ass dude before. <laughs> no, he's a piece of shit. <laughs> I mean, but comedy does kind of like, yeah, man, comedy. It, it, it's a dirty business, bro. Dirty business, bro. Like, I mean, I, I was, I was exposed to sex, women, drugs. Yeah, I like how you went sex, then women. You're like sex, <laughs> also women. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no, but everything is. I I saw it at a young age, man. Like I just saw no, everything. No, I know, dog. You, so you it was, I remember this. the first time I was uh I was DJing for the Haha. I was like yeah. ten years old, and the comics would be up there and they go, "Little Jack, cover years," yeah, and they yeah, were like, "Pussy, yeah. blah blah blah." So it's like I grew up around this. So I know, and it's just. I never wanted to do stand up. Neither did I at all. I was like, I don't want to be these fucking losers. Fucking, you know, like I remember yeah, watching it, Max and being like, you got to be an idiot to fucking like, want to do comedy. Yeah, because it's like it, the first five years, maybe sometimes longer for some people. You don't make any money, bro. You don't make oh, any bro. money. You're 
you're right, like you're, you suck. You're getting booed every night. It's terrible. It's terrible, right? It's a terrible business, bro. It is a terrible. Any it's advice terrible. for you guys? Don't do comedy. <laughs> no, don't do it. Don't do it. No, I mean, because on, I was even thinking about it today, like just kind of writing something. I, I just want to let people because the problem is I just post all the like accomplishments. Yeah, yeah. So everyone just assumes like, man, Martin's you're killing fucking, it. Martin's fucking living life. He's bro. fucking. He's he's young. He's got all this. He's success, and I'm like, bro, you have no idea what's happening behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah, of yeah. Like, I cried today. <laughs> <laughs> bro. And that's because he's happy. <laughs> Dude, I, I know, this, really, this is I, the happiest he's I ever cry, been. I cry all the time, bro. Good for it's, you, it's, bro. It, just, if, yeah. it feels yeah. good, bro. Like I just, I just like one thing about I was telling you on another podcast. I was saying that as comedians, we're never gonna be satisfied, right? Yeah. If you told yourself right now, ten ten years. Like you're ten yourself from before. Yeah. Go, hey man, look right now. I'm touring. Yeah, I'm this. Yeah, I'm yeah. that. Nah, bro. Trust me. You're like, like just, you're like I'm not happy. I want more. I want more. I want more. Didn't have time to just appreciate, you know, because I was driving. Because I was like, oh, I'm about to do this podcast. Let me just think of some shit. Just like think, because I don't have time, and I wish I had more time to appreciate what I have right now. Yeah. But the problem with the business is you constantly like. What's next? What's next? What's what next? city? What, what are we city going? What city? Like, what are we going? What new joke am I doing? Um, we sold. I uh, sold out the Chicago Laugh Factory. That's great, uh, man. Two months. You saw ahead. Curtis like, over there, Curtis. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, I got uh, Curtis. We sold it out like a few weeks, so we added a second, and um, it was just so cool because I sold it out like two, three months ahead of time. Yeah. So we added a second, and I just, but I haven't had time to just be like enjoy that moment. enjoy it because yeah. we we're like all right now it's the second one, and then like all right mm -hmm. once once we sell that one we're probably gonna need to we need a bigger space now. Yeah. Like, you could have, the and next then when it's to the next city, like you already forgot about it, and like you never enjoyed that moment. Yeah, that's yeah. why. I, that's why I what I started. I started doing, bro. I I bought a notebook, and I'll just write what I'm thankful for today. Hey, I'm thankful today. At waking up, I'm happy. I woke up today. Yeah. I'm happy. I, I saw my parents. My dad. My dad was sick. He, my dad's better right now. Hell just yeah. little stuff like that that I've written it down and look back at it like all right cool we're, we're yeah. all, you know that that's what you gotta do i just enjoy these small little moments yeah yeah no i i uh i do that i try to do that i just spend time with my girl we do like you, you got know, a girlfriend girlfriend yeah yeah girlfriend we're serious and um nice is she mexican no she's uh bolivian half half bolivian half white no way did yeah. you guys be on a website or something bolivian.com uh, how did you find that we met on like just the you know, she she's very active in the Bolivian community, and oh, okay. Uh, so my name is like you know popping right now. Yeah, so, yeah you're telling me, bro. You like know, you're so, like you're like Justin Bieber in the Bolivian. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> so you know, we kind of cross paths online, and you know, I slid in the DMs. And uh, is there any other comedians that are Bolivian? I thought I heard Eric Griffin is in the Bolivian. Is that true? I don't know. That, if he was, that would be wild. To, I would I would that would be a I think conversation. That would I be a conversation because I don't have anything. I love Eric, but I don't. Every time I've I'm around him, I've, I just never have anything to say. <laughs> I just because I don't know. Like I've known him for a long time. He has a he has a Bolivian features. No, he doesn't. No, Does he? he's like dark and you know. Like, no, I don't think so. But that would be so. If he's Bolivia, Bolivia, it's South America. It's, okay. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> What's the neighbor think, between what? Uh, Do you Colum know? Yeah, Colombia, Brazil. Peru. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. We're, pure, we're we're in the middle now. I know pure Bolivian cocaine yeah, yeah, flake. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's where uh, it's, yeah, Tony Montana. Yeah. Have you been there? Yeah, a couple times. Yeah. What's it like? It's um, it's I was there in two thousand nine, and uh, the energy is very laid back. And it's when I was there, I was I remember I was like near college. Uh, it just I just remember it moving very slow for me, uh -huh. and I would get antsy. I was like, yeah. this is like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, I need to get after one week. You're like, all right, I gotta get back home. But now I'm I I feel like now that I'm older, I uh -huh. appreciate chill. Like I actually want that. Yeah, yeah. When you're young, you just want to fucking go, go, yeah, go. Yeah. But when you're like older you're like actually bro i kind of want to just relax yeah i have a stupid question hey, yo, what's up? do they speak bolivian or spanish <laughs> that's a fucking you're, you're fucking stupid <laughs> it's it's i was like it's bolivian duh not spanish bro i know yeah. i was like no but see it's an honest question i just feel like yeah i mean honestly bro i, I feel like a lot of people just never have seen a bolivian or i never never bolivian. you yeah. never seen one and it's like we're very underrepresented there's under not, nobody there, yeah there's nobody and that's Actor, why any actresses yeah there's a um, fucking raquel welch who was like from the 60s bro oh, okay like, yeah she was the, the the hot chick on the planet of the apes oh, okay uh, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, she's half bolivian half white like my girl okay yeah, my, oh. girl, my girl's hot yeah. yeah shout out to your girl yeah so uh, we'll put a picture right here yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um let me you, are you planning to do a show out there a comedy show in bolivia yeah yeah we're already planning it no yeah, way yeah, we're planning it i'm just waiting on my passport 
Dog, getting a renewing your passport after like, it's expired is passport is hard, bro. It's fucking hard. <laughs> Especially when you have Persian. Yeah, bro. It's it's So what's that like? Do you have you have attachments to your Persian community at all? I you know, I, I, I super Do you speak Farsi? Eh, no. You speak Spanish? No. <laughs> no. I speak I speak Ivan. He speaks American. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. That's so funny because you so you're Persian yeah. and Bolivian, yeah. but you sound Mexican. Well, the Mexican stuff comes from I think just being here for a year. Bro, and just you sound Mexican. Some, when someone's when I talk, I'm trying to talk to you, like even on stage, I see I'm like, wow, you sound so Mexican. It's so great. No, it's it, like it know, transferred on you. <laughs> it transferred, but all, it, you know, obviously there's influence. Yeah, yeah. I was talking to my girl about this because in the comment section, they're like, why do you sound different in different shows? And I was like, I was thinking about it. And I was like, um, I think when you're mixed, you have to learn how to assimilate to your surroundings. 100%. So, like, if I'm around all Iranians, you know, I know yeah. exactly how to talk. Yeah. If I'm around all white people. How do you have to do Iranian, Iranian? Hey, buddy. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not no, like that. It's not, it's not like that. But if you're hey. around like white people, you you kind of, uh, or the, co you, you know, you enunciate more. You're like, hey, man, how's it going, buddy? How's like, it going? Yeah. You, you start to. Um, I, was, I remember I was uh, watching when he read it and I was like, I fucking dog. What's up, dog? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I, rem yeah, just that's, and that's, that's all it is, bro. And if I'm on the East coast or New York, yeah, you know, like, Hey, what up son? Like, it's a different dialect. Uh, but I remember I was just doing, doing a show in San Diego a couple of weeks ago and the, the dude in the audience was like, bro, like we would make fun of you because the way you talk, like you talk like a black guy. Uh -huh. Like, yeah, he said that to me on like, why I'm on stage. I'm like, like a black guy. <laughs> yeah. He's like, you talk like, a, like the way you talk, bro. Like we would make fun of you out here. And really? I was, and I was like. Damn, like I kind of appreciated him because he's just being honest. Because I, I was like, I don't know, I receive it, but I was like, I was thinking about it. I was like, honestly, bro, I think is a lot of it has to do with the fact that like on the East Coast we're very influenced by a New York, but rap music like, and our rap music isn't like West Coast rap. It's like city. It's a uh, like Biggie, DMX, yeah. like it was very East Coast driven. So like, yeah, that was how we just taught. Yeah, like you hear Andrew Schultz, he's like, "What up, son?" Yeah, yeah, what up, son? and it's like, yeah, we're just like. New York. It's just our. It's, that's our culture. East Coast. Yeah. You know what's one thing uh, I, I I admire about your uh, crowd work is that you like you. I don't know how to say you like you literally go, like you make the you, like you you go oh man thank you like thank you doc thank you like you like you say thank you and then you fucking slam them <laughs> yeah 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 like oh thank you I appreciate that man you brought it to my attention. <laughs> 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 like those videos, like it's like, oh, bro. like I could I could see it the way you're when I'm watching you because I'm yeah. I'm the same way when I'm doing crowd work, you go like, oh thank you, dog. Like and I know you're processing around with what's gonna come out and then yeah. it, it just comes out. It's yeah. gold, bro. It's or great. Some, or sometimes like someone will say something that's actually funny, and I'm like I'm in disbelief that like they're saying something that's like. I'm like, damn, you're saying something. You're just giving me the late. Like, sometimes when it's too easy, yeah. I'm like, this is too easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, this is. And I'm like, sometimes, like, I just put out a video today where I just, like, a guy said, okie dokie. Yeah. He's like, uh, I'm like, I'm, he said, I'm a tap dancer. I'm like, you're a tap dancer? I'm like, are you good? And he's like, I'm okie dokie. And I just, like, started looking <laughs> like, around. Like, like, did you guys hear I'm that? Like, are you fucking, are you kidding me yeah. right now? And then the crowd is just laughing because yeah. they know I'm about to, like, rip them apart. Yeah. And I noticed a lot of your videos are, uh, you own a comedy club. Yeah. Right? Yeah. He owns a comedy club. Yeah. This guy's yeah. so Persian. Persian. I wouldn't be that. Per yeah, He's like, bro, I, I cannot get on stage. I opened on the club. Yeah. <laughs> I get all emails. <laughs> it's called, what's it called? Room what? Room 808. Room 808. And is there was a reason why it's called that. It's just the address is 808 Upper <laughs> Street. Yeah. That's very Bolivian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm bad, I'm bad. Uh, yeah. uh, so how is the setup there? Do you have multiple cameras there or do you bring those in? We have one camera mounted, um, which is the main camera. And then when I'm in town, I hire a second guy to do the crowd reactions. Oh, perfect. Because yeah. I'm like, those videos are solid. Bro. Oh, yeah. It's it's a notice noticeable difference when I shoot there first. How big is the venue? What does it hold? 52 seats. 52 seats? Perfect. That's yeah. great. That's yeah, great. Yeah. That's, that's intimate. I go back in town. We sell out a bunch of shows and we just... And you, how do you do? You do them back to back to back to back to back? Yeah. I'll probably do like two Thursday, two Friday, three Saturday, two Sunday. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's then, great. Yeah. And you, how long are the shows? Like 90 minutes. 90 minutes? I'll do 60 and then I'll have some openers. That's cool, man. That's yeah, cool. That's I, cool. I got to check that shit out. I I, I, yeah, I, 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 I haven't been in the DC since the last time I was there when I was... I, 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 I remember. Said, I remember. said your dad's house. Remember? They, they said your dad's house. I came and visited. I remember I went there for after the airport, went to your house. Really? Yeah. You don't remember that? Bro, this must have been like a long time ago. This is like eight long years ago. Long time ago. Eight years ago, maybe. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Long Basically. time. Yeah, bro. This met fucking comedy years, man. Or it's just fucking going by. Yeah. 
All right, so here's, I asked this, by the way, before I ask you this question, I want to give a shout out to our sponsor, Petty Cash Studios yeah. and Comedy Showcase app. Thank you for letting us use your space. Uh, so yeah, my question I ask everybody is, uh, who's there, is there someone that you think that has beef with you? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure, I, I, as you know, like coming up in comedy, when you start getting things, I'm sure there's like comics that like, they get rubbed the wrong way. Yeah. Like, why is he getting things or why is this happening? Or, you know, like who, um, or like what, for what? Um, I personally, I don't, I, I never drop names. Okay. You don't uh, have to drop name, but yeah, you yeah. can tell us a story. Let me think. I'm trying to think of a good one. All right. Like real beef. Cause sometimes people, <laughs> it don't... doesn't have to be current. It could be something when you started, uh, you could say something like back in DC, this guy did this, this Booker did this, this producer did this, oh, someone owes me money, don't work with this guy. I mean, bro, there's just like, it's just, just got, so close. It's so it funny. Just, it's just, like, it just, it just, this is just knowledge for other people so they don't, they don't fuck with it. Like the last per, the last podcast I did, they mentioned, uh, someone was a fake agent asking for pictures of being bikinis and he, he was a fuck. waiter. He was a, he was oh a waiter. God, he was a waiter at, uh, Yard House. That's fucking, so just a bro. crazy st- yeah women like- have it fucking yeah women have it way worse than yeah me for sure bro i already i because i dated a comic and she would tell me stories who'd you date uh i dated a comic uh she's a new york comic now uh, her name is bridget nice um but uh you guys still friends yeah we're cool oh that's yeah, good. yeah yeah we're very cool um hey, you seem like you do you, you still talk to all your exes now that I'm dating a Latina, fuck no. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Like, fuck no. She does not let me talk to her. And I'm like, I was always a guy that's like, cool. Mm-hmm. But now that I get, I'm get, i getting older, I understand where she's coming. Like, you get more serious. It's like, yeah, that whole like, being cool with all your exes or yeah. casual. It's like, I can, I can see how it could be a problem for a girl. Yeah, but yeah, I can't. I, can, I, I don't know. My girl doesn't have social media. Oh, yeah. Mine's fucking FBI. FBI? Yeah, bro. Just crazy. I mean, it's like... You know what even scares me, too? Sometimes I get, like, random DMs from hot chicks, and like, oh, I think you're so funny, and this and that. You want to... And I'm like, this is this is my girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just assume it's yeah, true. Oh, I go, yeah, yeah. block. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, no, it's a real fucking... It's a real <laughs> so there's no, there's no one you could think of, maybe, that's uh, rub you the wrong way? Or how about this? Let's turn... Let's flip... Let's flip let's, on this one, let's flip the script. Is there anyone you think you want to give a shout-out that helped you out coming up? Um, let's think. Who helped me? Uh, <laughs> it's been, it, bro, it's been a while, drop names bro. for nothing, bro. <laughs> nah, because it's like, bro, that's kind of, I feel like that's how I got to where I'm at. I just kept my mouth shut, bro. Oh, really? Yeah, bro. Like, I fucking never, re- you ever see someone on Facebook, a comic that just starts like saying everything that's on his mind and just, I'm like, oh, you're never going to fucking get booked. Oh, bro. yeah. I, I can, like, I can name through and I'm I heard, And I know we probably have the same. Yeah. And it's like. And I'm like, bro, you, I mean, I'm like reading all of it, like drinking tea, like, oh, this is yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I'm like, you're, cause like bookers look at my, like, yeah. like the, yeah. head, the booker of the comedy store looks at all my stories. Yeah. Yeah. Like they're very invested in what the fuck, I, what I'm saying and what yeah. I'm doing. Cause they're like, all right, is this guy a fucking moron or yeah. not? Yeah. 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 Totally. You're going to keep his mouth shut. So yeah. Like, like, are you going to come to my club and talk shit about me? You know, like, yeah, or just like, are yeah. you a loose can't, can we, cause yeah. like, that's what another thing when people want to bring you in, especially at, at the store, like, cause I'm just starting to get in there and like, they want to know like, who are you? Like, what's your character? Like, yeah. what are you about? Like, are you a fucking, are you a bitch? Are you going to just fucking, go on podcasts and spill tea or yeah, yeah. are you going to fucking respect what you see here and like, yo, keep, keep yeah, your yeah. mouth shut, you know? Yeah, because the comedy store, you know, everyone else, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I love the comedy store. No, nah, they, just, they just hit me up. Um, I'm opening for Greg Fitzsimmons uh, Sunday for his special in the o- OR, so. Oh, perfect. Uh, Yeah, Emily got that from Emily. Emily's great, dude. Emily's, Emily, honestly, I like Emily. She knows the players, man. She knows all yeah. the players and she's, uh, she's very respected and, uh, uh, yeah, that's my advice. Honestly, if any comics watching this, man, just keep your mouth fucking shut, bro. Like, honestly, there's nothing good comes from gossip, dog. Yeah. Nothing. And it's like, when it's like cameras are off, I'll I'll say some shit. Yeah, yeah. But uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like, um, but you know, shout out to my boy Matt Rife. That's yeah. just someone that like Matt you know, Rife, he, who's, who's, who's who's we've worked together. Matt Rife is sexy as hell, dude. So, he's a solid dude. You know, nice he's always been consistent. And, yeah. Um, yeah, out of all my friends, I feel like he's one. He's the one that like probably helped me the most. And uh, yeah, yeah, he's just a friend. Like <clears throat> having a, a friend, having a genuine friend uh, in the business that like understands what you're going through. Like just dealing. and he's young too. What is he? Twenty eight. Yeah, 
just dealing 20, with like, he's, 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 he's it's only the beginning for him dude yeah so only the beginning for him he's always been a honestly I've known Matt since he was a what, baby yeah. baby with no muscles <laughs> like he was you know simple kid just wanted to learn comedy and uh was he just he was a he's a true hustler man he's he started yeah. he started from the bottom now he's here like he's like yeah, he's yeah, like yeah. he's he's doing some I like, remember him he's I mean, he's so uh, he's just sold out of London I think right London yeah, yeah he's, he's London going. dude London like, yeah. he, like not just one show I think like ten shows right yeah, bro that's nah, beautiful he's, it's it's awesome to see your friends fucking win show. right and it's very weird to see to see your friends win it's great yeah. it's the best feeling in the world that's what I think what's holding uh, a lot of comics back is that. You're only as good as your circle, you know. Your yeah. circle, if your circle, a bunch of shitheads. Or just stop wasting your energy on like hating on someone. Put that energy on working on you, bro. Like if, yeah. if the sooner you start directing your energy towards improving yourself, bro, things great things are gonna happen. Yeah, yeah. Stop wasting your time on like talking shit on someone else. Yeah. Or, or hating on. It's like why not me? It's like bro, yeah. just just do it. Figure it out, bro. Figure it out. Figure Keep it trying. out or quit. Like it's yeah, gonna yeah. be a long road. You're gonna be an angry ass dude. Yeah. And there's there's more angry comics than chill comics. I'll tell you that. Yeah, there is. That's, that's why I don't really go out like that or hang out. Hang out, hang out. Bro, yeah. I'm chilling, man. I got my yeah, I got ass girlfriend. Yeah. And I'm fucking selling tickets. I'm good, bro. So like, hell yeah. I don't need to be hanging out too much anymore. That's some great advice, dude. I think that's a. Uh... That was perfect. Um, dude, yeah. <laughs> Sorry for, you know. No, just, that was good. I mean, that, that's. I mean, look, this is it's, it's, coming, it's coming from a place where it's like, if I wasn't doing shit, I don't think it would have as much value. But things are going good, bro. And it, this, it works. Like, yeah. Just stop. Are you talking. with anybody You're repping yourself? No, nobody. That's great, dude. That's even better, bro. Oh, I'm like, yeah, man. Hell yeah. I love those stories, dude. <laughs> I love those stories. I never had one I'm meeting, the, bro. I'm the same with my comedy. I manage all my own dates. Yeah. And uh, it's that's the best feeling in the world, dude. That's best. He's this yeah, guy bro. is just sold out Chicago. Uh, he's, you're doing six shows. I sold out six shows in New York. We're gonna we're moving to Gotham soon. Dude, he's selling on DC, New York. He's Martin Me is huge, man. He's doing some great things. Please follow him. Check him out, dude. Uh, great advice. Uh, what's your website? Or you uh, just martinamini.com. Martinamini.com. Shout out to Bolivia and <laughs> Iran. Uh, Comedy Club Confessions. My guest today is Martin Amini. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Stay uh, tuned for his special. It's going to come out real soon. Yes. Fuck yeah. Cheers.